what have we got here? We've got a laser, of course. Being from Laser World, it's bound to be, isn't it? Right, but what is this one? This is one of the little diffraction type lasers with a bit of a twist. Right, so it, when we show it on in a second, you know like the diffraction lasers normally, like, uh, like star cluster lasers, they, they work like that. Uh, this doesn't work quite like that. It's a simpler product, to be honest with you. Uh, it reminds me of like a moonflower type effect. So all it's going to do is put some like stars, uh, like star shapes onto, the, onto a wall or anything you project it onto. So it's very simple. What I like about this is the control because I think for those venues you can't get to use smoke and things like that. And when you're doing events like weddings and stuff where you are wanting to keep a colour theme going, this is where this little bad boy comes into its own. So, I'll just read a few of the specs. We're going to take it in the other room, we're going to put it on as well, and we'll take some close photos. Um, so, guaranteed power, 240 milliwatts, but typical power, 300. And that is spread across uh, 80 watt on the red uh, milliwatt, and we've got 60 watt on the green, and we've got 100 milliwatt on the blue. It's a class 2 laser, so this is going to be very safe. This is going to be all right, projecting it into room. You're not going to have any issues with any safety, right? It's, 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 it's a safe item to project into the crowd. In fact, it's designed, that's what it's designed to do. Um, the unit is full metal construction and it weighs 1.25 kilos. It's a very simple item, a little bit unusual. The menu is actually on the top of the unit instead of on the back. Uh, when we come to the back of the unit, we've got DMX in and DMX out, so it is a DMX product. What I also like about this as well, is it will work master and slave. So if you have a couple of these, you can master and slave them. Not all lasers are master and slave, let me tell you. We've got our interlock and we've got our key, standard laser protocol. You know, all lasers have interlocks and keys and it won't work without them on. The menu on the top, right, this is what I like. Go into my instruction book. So, there's lots of different function, functions you can control. and It's got an auto mode, it's got a sound mode, and it's got a slave mode. But, say you just wanted this laser to produce white, you can, and you can lock it into that colour. It will produce pink as well. I'm reading the instruction book in, in German here. I'll back to the English bit. So, you can run it in red, we can run it in green, we can run it in blue, yellow, cyan, purple, which I think is more of a pink, uh, and white. And you can lock it into these colours. So if you've got a bit of a thing going on at your gig, I think it's going to look really, really good. Anyway, let's talk about it. Let's put it in the room. We're going to show it without any smoke. And we're going to flick through the different modes. And then, of course, we'll put a bit of haze in the room so you can see what it looks like with a bit of smoke. Now, just so you can gauge where we're at in the room, our lighting showroom isn't massive, so we haven't got a massive amount of throw. So all I've done is I've just put it on top of there like that, angled it up and fired it across there. And that is getting a lot of coverage right the way up the ceiling and down. So you can see what sort of coverage you're getting. I just wanted to show you the coverage at that point. Right, what we're going to show here now is I'm just going to flick through the different colours and I'm going to also show you, so we've got it in red there. Now let me tell you, I can actually slow that down to an absolute stop. So you can get that really slow. And you can do this for every colour. And this will lock into that colour. So that's going up to two, three, getting a little bit faster. Four, five, you can see it getting faster and it will go right the way up to nine. Right, so we can do that on all of the different colours. So there we've got it in red, locked into red. We've got it in green, locked into green. That's the blue. Again, I can, I can slow it down. We've got the yellow. We've got the cyan. That is what I would call pink, but they're saying purple. I think it's a real pink colour. And there we've got white as well. Now I think being able to set that and set the mood in a room is really, really cool. 
I think if we're trying to, I think it gives a bit of a mirror ball, a starlight, you know, stars, sort of twinkle of effect. It's not too manic, we've slowed it right down, I think it's quite classy. I just think it's a unique little product. We've seen these diffraction lasers before, but I think this is actually just the job we're looking for. I think the unit is doing exactly no more or no less than what I want it to do. And the fact that we can lock the colours in is great and we can speed it up and slow it down. I think for these first dances, again, hitting a theme for an event, I think that'll look really, really good. Let's show you with some haze. Right, so there we go. I just think that product just ticks a box. It really, really does. That's the Laser World EL300 RGB. It's a twinkle laser. It's nothing we haven't seen before, but how it works in the menu, I think is quite unique. And I do like the colors, the fact that we can get white, we can get pink, we can get cyan, and obviously we've got red, we've got green, and we've got blue. But I like the fact we can slow it down, and I think we can lock it into a color. I think that's a brilliant little feature and great for those who are wanting to set a theme at an event. If you want some more information on that, click the link in the description to this video and it will take you through to our website. And don't forget, we review loads and loads of DJ equipment, lighting, sound, controllers, all kinds of stuff. If you like our reviews, hit the subscribe button. It's Mike at Phase 1.